Hey, what's up, guys and girls? This is JJ here with an early Monday morning neighbor torturing demo of the Dr. No Effects Troy Van Leeuwen Octavia. This is an Octavia pedal, an old circuit uh, that was um, designed in co collaboration with uh, Dr. No Effects from Eindhoven, Rock City, the Netherlands, and Troy Van Leeuwen of uh, uh, Queens of the Stone Age, amongst others. This has a seriously eerie design uh, with its graphics, the Troy Van Leeuwen uh, logo, this uh, little bulb with a human heart in it, and as soon as you engage the pedal, it lights up. It has two skull knobs, it has this uh, Troy Van Leeuwen logo, actual, you know, seal of approval. And as I said, the Octavia is a really old circuit from the 60s, uh, used by, um, you know, Jimi Hendrix, later on by Stevie Ray Vaughan, and of course, more recently by Gary Clark Jr. <laughs> It's a really typical fuzz sound. It's not really a fuzz box. You should look at this as a really primitive octave pedal. And not an octave pedal as in the electronics pog or, you know, like uh, the sub and up and those kinds of pedals because they add actual digital uh, octaves above, either above or below your signal or even two octaves up, two octaves down. Uh, this is kind of a pseudo a pseudo acoustic octave. The octave is not actually there, but the ear uh, perceives hearing an octave because of the overtones that are accentuated. And that works um, uh, best when you use a guitar with single coil pickups like Hendrix did. Uh, play on the neck pickup, so have more of a bassy input to the pedal. Roll back the tone a little bit and play above the 12th fret, so you get that really ear piercing, screaming upper octave. <laughs> This particular Dr. No pedal has more gain than an original Octavia or Octavio circuit that Hendrix used to use, and it's got two controls, a volume control, so you can, uh, you can uh, push the front end of the amp with it, and it's got a control labeled Blame Shifter, which, according to the Dr. No website, is an a uh, Queens of the Stone Age inside joke. I don't know what it stands for. I don't know what it means. Uh, but it has three kind of kind of three kind of game stages, which I'll demo in a minute. Uh, and it looks terrific, and it sounds great. It's one of the coolest Octavia pedals that I've ever played. And if you're looking for that Octavia sound, that old school upper octave scream, this one is definitely worth checking out, as you will hear when we take a closer look at the pedal right now. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Troy Van Leeuwen Octavia by Dr. No Effects. I'm playing my Fender Duo Sonic with Tone Rider pickups, so pickup upgrade into a Boss Katana, which is a terrific little amp. I've been using that a lot lately. I'm on the neck pickup, um, and here's the dry guitar sound on the crunch setting. <laughs> So a little bit of hair from the amplifier and that's where uh, the Octavia likes to be or into a straight up lead sound, of course. So with both of the skull knobs, these are actually little skulls, as you can see, uh, beautifully crafted. Well, with both of the knobs set to about 12 o'clock, volume and tone up full on the neck pickup, it sounds like this. So seriously gnarly. Let's up the um, uh, blame shifter. Um, which is, um, according to the Dr. No website, it's an inside joke of Queens of the Stone Age. I don't know what that means. If you do, uh, please chime in in the comments. It sounds like this. Okay, so especially above the 12th fret, as I said, when I roll back on the blame shifter, becomes less aggressive. If I turn it all the way down, I get almost no sound. So I can get that cool, you know, John Mayer, Steve Ray Vaughan kind of Octavia sound by putting the, um, the blame shifter in the first game stage and upping the volume on a pedal. So it's less dirty, more of the upper octave. Let's back off the tone a little. Really cool. So let's go to that second 
gain stage. A lot creamier. Okay, tone up full. Tone down. And mind you, I'm playing a single coil equipped guitar, guys. So let's uh, dime that blame shifter right now here. Both controls up full and back off the guitar a little bit and go to the bridge pickup. So you get that almost robotic kind of sound on those double stops, yeah? This is one of the best Octavias I've ever played. So let's um, push the uh, amp a little bit more by cranking the volume and play that same lick on the bridge pickup. You should not play open chords on this thing. Or heck, why not? Troy Van Leeuwen Octavia. Really, really neat looking pedal. Very well made. Sounds terrific. And uh, if you're looking for an old school Octavia, check this thing out. Please like my Facebook page and Instagram uh, where you can find like a photo diary and uh, my vlogs on Facebook so you will not miss out on any of those Facebook only videos. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that button. Signing off. JJ.